Switchblade 300 versus Ghost Drone. According to Pentagon spokesperson John Kirby, the Phoenix Ghost loitering munition is a brand new platform that was developed in a short period of time to meet Ukraine's military requirements at a time when it's attempting to blunt Russia's renewed offensive in the Donbas region. Welcome to Drone Zone, the channel that brings you the latest, most exciting news and info about drones. In today's video, we talk about the latest invention by Avex Aerospace, so make sure to stay till the end of the video to know why the US custom made these drones for Ukraine. Loitering munitions as a type of fully autonomous weapon can independently seek out targets, make the decision to engage them, and then engage them. These drones have the capability of carrying out a kamikaze attack, which means they'll wait passively for their target and then detonate on impact once it's been located. This eliminates the need for human intervention and grants them true autonomy, which has proven to be extremely useful in asymmetric warfare. On April 21st, Kirby told the press that this Phoenix Ghost was hurriedly built by the Air Force in response to requests from the Ukrainian government. There will be more than 121 Phoenix Ghosts in Ukraine, which is both highly specific and strangely ambiguous. Kirby told the press that the Phoenix Ghost's capabilities are similar but not identical to those of Aerovironment Switchblade tube-launched loitering munition. What is meant by the scope of capabilities for the Phoenix Ghost varies, but it's unclear what these variations are. He believes it'll be useful in dealing with a wide range of objectives. The Switchblade drones, which are made in the United States and can accurately target Russian tanks and artillery locations from kilometers away, have already been delivered to Ukraine by President Joe Biden's administration. It previously released 100 of these drones into the world and promised to release another 300 in the future. According to reports, the US military has used the Switchblade 300 in limited combat scenarios in Afghanistan and elsewhere, but this information has not been made public. However, the US military's activities in Ukraine would be the weapon's most significant combat use to date. It's been speculated that Ukraine has fared far better than Russia in this drone war to date. The Eurasian Times previously reported that Ukraine's fleet of military drones has all been successful in destroying Russian resupply vehicles and SAM launchers. These drones include indigenous models, military gifts from friendly countries, and the Bayraktar TB2, an imported model built in Turkey. Although little is known about the brand new Phoenix Ghost drone, it is possible to wonder why a new drone similar to the one previously sent to Ukraine is now on its way there. It also demonstrates that the US is committed to minimizing the damage caused by Russia's invasion of Ukraine without deploying American troops to Ukrainian territory. Because of the scarcity of information, the aircraft known as the Phoenix Ghost remains shrouded in mystery. It was developed by Avex Aerospace, which has its headquarters in California. According to John Kirby, the Air Force drone program, which was already in development prior to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, met all of Ukraine's specific requirements and has similar capabilities to the Aerovironment Switchblade drone, which is currently in use in Ukraine. If you've made it this far in the video, consider subscribing to our channel as it helps us greatly in making more content. The Switchblade is a 5.5-pound drone that can hover over a target for up to 40 minutes before crashing into it and detonating a small warhead. The drone is capable of carrying out an attack during this time. It has a camera as well as a bomb that is discharged through a tube. It can aim for a specific location without the assistance of a human pilot, so it can be used for surveillance or to attack low-value targets. It can also be used to strike at targets. When asked about the origin of the term Phoenix Ghost, Kirby replied, I have no idea. I'm not sure. It has the same tactical capability as a switchblade, he explained. A switchblade can be thought of as a one-way drone, and it's clear that it is designed to deliver a punch. It's a tactical unmanned aerial system, and the Phoenix Ghost is in the same class, he added. Individuals operate the vast majority of tube-launched expendable drones. These drones can be launched from the ground, a vehicle, a ship, or an aircraft. However, this is a more advanced capability than the larger drones used to launch some lingering UAs. Existing Ukrainian forces, according to Kirby, should be able to quickly adapt to the new system. However, training would be required. If we believe Kirby, the Ghost Drone and the Switchblade may share some interesting characteristics. We don't know much about the Ghost Drone, but we do know a lot about the Switchblade. After the Switchblade 600 anti-armor variant was revealed in 2020, the original Switchblade, which was released in 2011, was renamed the Switchblade 300. An explosive hidden within the Switchblade transforms it into a flying killer camera robot. 
These fully electric weapons will aid in the detection and attack of nearby assailants rather than fire off foes, and will do so in a timely and effective manner. Switchblades are available in two sizes, the Switchblade 300 and Switchblade 600. Despite the fact that either one can be carried by one person, the weight difference between the two is enormous. A 300, for example, weighs only 5.5 pounds and can be transported in a backpack. The weight of the components required to transport the 600 is significantly greater than the weight of the missile itself, which weighs 33 pounds. The human operator of both the Switchblade and the Ghost has the ability to abort the attack if something unexpected occurs, such as a civilian walking into the area or the cameras indicating that what the operator thought was a tank was actually a school bus. This is possibly the most striking similarity between the Switchblade and the Ghost. This is an important distinction to make when compared to something like a high-flying Reaper drone, which fires missiles that cannot be redirected once launched. Being able to exert that level of control and, in effect, cancel the launch of a missile after it has already been launched into the air is one of the most exciting possibilities that could be realized with weapon control systems like this one. Before that promise can be kept, there must be a human in charge of launching missiles during combat who is both capable and willing to keep an eye on the video stream being transmitted by the missile until it is completed. Although it's unknown how the Phoenix Ghost was built, suicide drones of various types have proven to be extremely useful in modern warfare, and their control systems do not have to be overly complicated. Armed, unmanned systems that are commercially available and simple to deploy are valuable assets that can be deployed in large numbers at a low cost. Indeed, the United States adversaries, as well as non-state actors and armed militias around the world, have been demonstrating this for more than five years converting off-the-shelf hobby and commercial drones into lethal killing machines. Homemade armed drones are still being used on the battlefield in Ukraine right now. Drones are thought to be rewriting the rules of the game. According to John Parcini, a Rand Corporation military expert, the tank was crucial at one point, but now drones may be the more decisive weapon system. Both Armenia and Azerbaijan actively deployed UAVs during the 2020 battle between the two countries, allowing both sides to witness the power of armed drones for the first time. Other examples include the civil war in Ethiopia between the Abiy Ahmed government and the Tigray rebels. UAVs have emerged as a weapon of choice as a result of the massive changes that have occurred on battlefields over the years. Beginning with the announcement a week ago that artillery and armored vehicles would be sent to Ukraine, U.S. military assistance is now responsive to Ukraine's needs and tailored to support the intensified fighting in the Donbas region. The fighting in the Donbas region differs from other conflicts due to the region's unique topography. It's flat, it's not in the mountains, and it requires different kinds of weapons to be more successful, Kirby says. The Ukrainian armed forces are working hard to keep their country from falling under Russian control. Phoenix Ghost suicide drones or loitering munitions could significantly boost the firepower of these troops who are working extremely hard to achieve this goal. That's it for today's video. Let me know if you think the US started the development of the Ghost drone before the war began, or is it just saying that to avoid angering Russia? I hope you've enjoyed watching this video just like I've enjoyed making it, and make sure to comment with any future videos that you're interested in watching. I'll be seeing you all soon, but until then, you can watch this video to know about the US's plan to supply Ukraine with the more advanced Reaper drones, and as always, subscribe or crash.